Okay, first things first, um, get some chapstick, lip balm, whatever the case may be, and just do that. After that, I go in and I brush my brows up. I'm not a professional, guys. I just do things to my liking and how I want my face to be done. So, yeah. Um... I'm actually going to speed up a lot in this video because, you know, it is time consuming, but um, I will stop and pause and stop and pause and things like that. But I will start with my brows on camera. So right now I'm using this teeny little pencil and it's ugh, it's a favorite and I waited so long, so long before I went and got a new one. And now the freaking pencil is so small. I don't even know where I got it but I'm using it till the death of it. I have others, but this one's my favorite. I don't use palm, what is it, pomade? I don't use the dip brow. So yeah, um, it's not really my thing, but yeah, guys. I will do one brow on camera and then I will speed up the next brow. Or, whoa. I won't do one brow on camera. I would just. I would just do both. And basically, you know, just kind of fast f speed up a little bit just because I won't be um, talking a lot. I'm kind of cut for time, but I wanted to make a quick little video. So this is what I look like right now, guys. Terrible. My teeny little pencil. I love it so much. Okay, so after I fill my brows in with the little pencil, I do go in with the my little brush. And I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and Warm Honey to shape my brows um so yeah i use warm honey at the bottom because it's lighter than me and then i take fawn and i use it at the top because it's darker than me so yeah i will be speeding up this part as well guys if you guys want a detailed tutorial on how i do like brows or like my face or whatever i can do that another day but yeah this get it get ready with me will be getting sped up As you can see, and now I go in with the spoolie and I just pretty much blend out and try not to erase what I've driven. Okay. And I brush upwards. And those are brows. Now, next. Okay guys, so now after doing my brows, I do take some primer. This is the Milani Prime Protect. You can get this from, I believe, your local beauty supply store. And I just put a little all over my face. Not too much because like I said, I do have oily skin. I put some on my neck as well because I have a tendency of bringing the makeup down there. 
After that guys, I do go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer Color Corrector because I do have some imperfections that I don't like so much. I put it around my nose, size of my lips, I guess some under my eyes, and yeah, after that, you just blend. And I'm going to blend it off camera, girl. After you blend it out, this is what you should look like. A little red, girl. A little red. But that's okay. Then I do go in with my foundation. This is from Tarte. It is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And I will be putting that on today because, you know, it's winter and my skin does get a little lighter in the winter. I just put a little on my cheeks, some of my chin, forehead, nose, and I believe that should be good for now. I don't usually go a lot. I don't usually put a lot on, but it just depends on how I want to look. And today I really want to go for a natural look. So yeah, I'm just going to blend this out. And all of us know how to blend. So I'm going to blend this out off camera just to save some time. And then after the foundation, I will be, you know, speeding things up and doing a little more on camera. Okay. I'm going to use this sponge that I do have that I use a lot, utilize frequently. And I'm going to blend this out all over my face and come back and show you what I look like. Okay, guys. So I'm finished blending out my face. And this is what. It looks like this is actually really smooth and um, this is actually a vegan foundation from Tarte and I was actually lucky to get this so after that I do go back in once more with this and I just you know Make sure it's popping. I now go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer once more and I put some under my eyes. I used to do the Aztec way, but I can't be bothered. I said Aztec way. Oh, I did my makeup in front of my mom once and I haven't stopped saying that since she called it that and I put some under my nose under my chin on my forehead and then down my nose so I used to do this little triangle 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 line thing and my mom named it the aztec way aztec way and yeah she's just she's so silly you know <laughs> um i'm going to blend this out i will speed it up so After that, I do go in with my contour kit and I take the brush that comes with it because I actually like the brush. It's 
think it's the perfect shape if I can find it. It's this brush and the product is Kiss. And I just go in and dust it. And then I just go down and set that contour around my nose. And yeah. I also take some and then I dust it around my forehead like so to set the ones that I did put around my forehead. Not too much. And that's that. Now for the fun stuff. I bake my face with this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. This is my color. I go in with this flat beauty blender. You can tell this is then I get some, put some on my chin, put some on my forehead, put some under my eye. Put some under my other eye. Put some down the bridge of my nose. And then I put some under here. And I let it sit there. I don't like when it looks too excess because that's not the look I'm going for. I now go in and I use this tiny baby brush. I'm mistaken no more. I'm wrong. Uh, I'm promising you. And I don't drag it. I dust away. I dust away the excess powder off my face. But at the same time, I spread it around the rest of my face. And then, when I'm done with that, I go in with this Laura Mercier powder. And then I just dust my whole face with this brush from Sephora. I even go in over my brows as well. I try to touch my whole face. And ta-da! Now for the finishing touches, we got, you know, setting spray. And we just gonna let that set. And I'm going to put on some lashes off camera. Okay, now that my face is done, I am going to do hair. I'm actually going for a big look. I'm not wearing it out. I'm wearing it in a pony behind me. And so yeah. now I'm just going to take this comb. I don't like baby hairs, guys. So that's why you guys don't see any. So I do take this hair. I don't want it to be perfect. And then I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail. And that's the look. Hair, makeup, and I'm done.